Are electric cars really the future? You may never have to buy gas again, but does that mean going electric is better for the planet? Electric cars are great, aren't they? Not entirely. They produce no emissions when you drive them, but they still have a carbon footprint. Manufacturing an electric vehicle, EV, and driving it for 200,000 kilometers will generate about 42 tons of atmospheric CO2 compared to 53 tons for a petrol car. So they're only relatively better. What's the main problem with electric vehicles? EVs. The big problem is their batteries, which alone account for nine tons of CO2. That's on top of the major environmental problems caused by mining the elements needed for modern lithium-ion batteries. The batteries make an EV 20 to 30 percent heavier than an equivalent petrol car, so it needs more energy to move the same distance. Do EVs have other disadvantages? Well, electric vehicles aren't all that practical. They're great for driving around town, but the problems start as soon as you want to travel long distances. In ideal conditions, a standard Tesla Model 3 can go around 400 kilometers on one charge. By comparison, a Ford Fiesta with a full tank will take you about 1,321 kilometers. But in cold weather, the Tesla car will only go about 270 kilometers, and recharging an EV is much slower than simply refilling with petrol, which adds 24 percent more time to a long journey. Are hydrogen cars a good solution? Possibly. It's true that many in the industry think that hydrogen cars are the future. They are also electrically motored. But as the electricity is generated by hydrogen, they don't need big batteries. Refueling a hydrogen car is as rapid as for a petrol car, and one kilogram of hydrogen holds 236 times more energy than a kilogram of battery. Plus, the only emission they produce is water. So why aren't there more hydrogen cars now? It's complicated. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, but it doesn't exist in pure form on Earth. We can extract it from natural gas, but this produces methane as a byproduct, which is far worse for the climate than CO2. Alternatively, we can electrolyze water to split the hydrogen and oxygen atoms, but that uses too much energy. If we can find a better way to do it, we could have the perfect transport solution. What can we do? Rethink our relationship to cars. Citroen have a major success doing just that with the Ami, a small, ultra-low cost EV made of plastic. It weighs just 485 kilograms, whereas the very lightest EV weighs 1,200 kilograms, and the average is around 2,000 kilograms. The Ami only goes 45 kilometers per hour and is limited to distances of up to 75 kilometers. But most of us live in towns, and who needs more than that? What if you need to travel further? Just rent something bigger, or take a train.